Amsterdam, the city with perhaps the most nationalities in the world. The city where, in 2001, the first gay wedding in the world took place. But also the city where, each year, a few hundred people still become infected with HIV, year after year. Amsterdam is the city of Rembrandt van Rijn, of Anne Frank, of Johan Cruijff, but also the city of Jublange. In order to stop the urban HIV epidemic, it's important to be as inclusive as possible. And besides involving all key population stakeholders in our local HIV control efforts, we also feel that Amsterdam is responsible to share our experiences with other cities. Worldwide, a whole range of initiatives are underway to end the HIV epidemic. An interesting aspect of the fact that, that these initiatives or these types of initiatives are happening in different parts of the world, including in cities, is that we can also, and should I think, look at whether we can learn from what happens in other cities. In Amsterdam, the H team has taken the initiative to end the HIV epidemic. If we don't do anything, then it might happen that in the coming years the number of new HIV infections will increase. H team stands for HIV Transmission Elimination Amsterdam. The H team is a structural collaboration between all organizations involved with HIV in Amsterdam. What we try to do with the H team is really an example of, of what is called implementation science. So we're trying to investigate and research how proven interventions can work in practice. So we know that it's important for people to get tested and know their HIV status, but how do you reach people? The H team combines education, prevention, testing and treatment to stop the spread of HIV and to keep people living with HIV in good health. Hereby it's uh, important not to choose between interventions, but uh, it is uh, essential to combine them in order to be as most eff effective as possible. The H team initiative nicely links to the 1990-90 by 2020 targets uh, set by UNAIDS, which is the AIDS organization of the UN. And what those targets say is that of all the people with HIV, by 2020, 90% should be aware of their infection and know their diagnosis. Of those people who have been diagnosed, 90% should be on treatment. And of those on treatment, 90% should have a suppressed infection. In the wake of the UNAIDS 1990 uh, targets, another initiative also stimulated by UNAIDS is the so-called Fast Track Cities Initiative which really has the same goal, reducing the number of new infections in cities. And the reason to focus on cities is that a lot of the HIV infections occur in cities. And this has been picked up by a number of cities across the world and also now in Amsterdam. Amsterdam has a long history of uh, HIV research that dates back to the early 1980s, uh, to the beginning of the HIV epidemic and Joop Lange wanted to revive HIV research and actually that was the starting point of the H team. Joop Lange was an internist who, as a scientist, activist and pragmatist, was committed to fighting HIV and AIDS from the early 1980s onwards. First in the Netherlands and later worldwide. In 2014, Joop Lange died in the Ukrainian plane crash. And I think uh, what holds true for me, but holds true also for many if not all of the members involved in H team, is that we really think uh, we should finish the job as a tribute to you. The H team can only be successful through close involvement of people from the community. One such person is Hans Schuppert. As relationship manager at the AIDS Funds, Hans is attending the Amsterdam Dinner fundraising event. They raise a lot of money for the fight against AIDS. And that's also a place where a lot of like, well-known people from the uh, entertainment business are. And for me it's a great place to meet everybody again, but also to make new contacts with people that could do something for us. Hans grew up in a reformed Protestant environment. He knew he was gay from the age of 12 and he came out when he was 25. During my study, I had the chance to go to San Francisco, work there for half a year. And San Francisco was the place to be 
for a gay person. I was living in the gay area, lots of dates, being in the sauna and meeting guys and uh, was a great period. But then the first rumors came of a gay cancer and uh, that you had to watch out for spots on your body. Even the bus driver was wearing uh, gloves. And so we felt there was something wrong. And, and one day I saw a spot on my leg <laughs> and I got totally scared. So I went to the doctor as quickly as possible and he said, it's just a bruise. And I was, of course, totally relieved. But that moment, my great fear of getting AIDS started. Hans is taking part in the AIDS team's PrEP study. PrEP is the preventive use of HIV medication. Scientific studies have already shown that PrEP is effective. But how does it actually work in practice? The moment that I heard that you could use one pill a day called PrEP and that you could not get infected. And the combination of PrEP and the use of condoms, then I cannot get infected. Since I started using PrEP, I really felt a total relief. It's like I can totally enjoy sex now and I know I will not get infected by HIV in my life anymore. As part of the study, I use an app and answer a few questions like, did you uh, take your pill today? And some questions about my sex life. My fear started in the 80s with this blue spot on my leg and ends now with the blue pill. The H team is another example of how AIDS funds has been working for the past 30 years. And that is putting everybody who's important around the table. Policymakers, doctors, scientists, and of course the people living with HIV who know what happens and who know what's needed. And this is the way AIDS funds together with the H team works toward an AIDS-free Netherlands and no more HIV infections. The H team stimulates general practitioners to be more proactive in HIV testing. In the Netherlands, almost one third of the new HIV infections are diagnosed by general practitioners. But there is still room for improvement because a lot of test possibilities are missed. General practitioners play an important role in stimulating people to take an HIV test. One of the more innovative approaches we have for the GPs is that we provide groups of GPs with feedback information about their HIV testing behavior so that they can compare their testing behavior with that of their colleagues and then refer to the guidelines. We focus also on general practitioners in those neighborhoods in Amsterdam where HIV is more prevalent or in multicultural neighborhoods and we try to motivate them to do the HIV testing more routinely as a common test. Uh, for instance, if there is a new patient in their practice or if blood is drawn, for instance, for a checkup or for a hypertension control. In Amsterdam, HIV occurs mainly in gay men and in people who originate from sub-Saharan Africa and the Caribbean. Particularly in non-Western cultures, HIV is often a taboo subject. To encourage these people to get tested, community leaders are vital. Veronica van der Kamp moved from Ghana to the Netherlands 24 years ago. Drawing on her faith in God, she has worked for years to educate the African community on a range of issues, including HIV. God is my creator. And I know without God, I'm nothing. And everything that I do, I have to ask God to be with me, to protect me. I pray every time. When I was in Ghana, I really loved acting. When I came here, I couldn't continue one because of the language and making family. But I decided to set a group 
and now I have a group of uh, uh, 20. Well, good evening, everybody. Veronica has set up a group that consists of Ghanaians who make short films to educate the African community in the Netherlands. What we do is we look at the problem in the community. For example, if we want to promote testing of HIV, we use it as a drama to educate them. Not boring educational videos, but drama with a message and real-life scenarios. You have to go to your house, doctor. What? Yes. The family doctor? Oh, yes. You no, I can't do that. You have to. HIV in our community is something we don't really talk about because of the stigma. And um, the improvement in treatment is also not really known to the community. This, your ears don't listen. This one, it don't listen. The message is to promote testing. Because if you know it earlier, and you have good treatment, you can have a long, healthy life. The Public Health Service of Amsterdam focuses on the prevention of HIV infection using innovative approaches. The AIDS team enhances our impact. The AIDS team is committed to finding people who have been infected with HIV as soon as possible. First of all, it improves the health, and secondly, it uh, reduces the chance of transmitting the virus to others. As an STI nurse, Nuria Heijs plays an important role in the timely diagnosis and, consequently, early treatment of HIV. She understands the importance of a healthy sex life. Sexualiteit is een belangrijk onderdeel van het mens zijn, en seksualiteit op een prettige, gezonde manier beleven. Dat is waar wij bij de GGD naar streven. We zijn er altijd al alert op geweest. Als iemand bij ons komt met griepachtige verschijnselen en een recent risico heeft gelopen, kan dat duiden op een acute HIV-infectie. Through the H team, the Amsterdam Public Health Service hopes to provide an even better service to gay men who have recently had unprotected sex. We hebben een website en die heet hebikhief.nl. Mannen die seks hebben met mannen kunnen daar uh, naartoe en dan kunnen ze kijken of ze ja, bepaalde symptomen hebben, klachten, die kunnen duiden op uh, wie weet heb ik wel of geen hief. En dan kunnen ze bij ons terecht om zich te laten testen, want we hebben nu een test, dat is een speciale test en dan kun je dus zien of iemand heel recent hief heeft opgelopen. Mocht het zo zijn dat de uitslag niet goed is, dus wel hief, dan wordt iemand doorverwezen binnen 24 uur naar het ziekenhuis. Dan kan gelijk iemand starten met de behandeling van HIV door het nemen van medicatie. Want er is gebleken dat hoe eerder je start met de behandeling, hoe beter dat is. Voor de Association van mensen die leven met HIV, is het werk van de H-team van het meest belangrijkste. Because the sooner people know that they are HIV positive, the sooner they can get access to medication which is beneficial for their health. In that way, together in Amsterdam, we work uh, jointly on the health of people living with HIV and subsequently reduce the number of new HIV infections. It's a win-win situation for those living with HIV and the communities they are part of. Some months ago, I had sex with a guy at the sauna without a condom. A few weeks later, I got myself tested. There was just a short wait for the results. I could tell straight away from the nurse it wasn't good. I've got bad news. You've tested positive for HIV. <laughs> I just felt the ground give way beneath me and I asked her, tell me honestly, am I going to die? She reassured me saying, nowadays you can have a good life with HIV. I got an appointment at the hospital really quickly. There they asked me if I wanted to take part in a study. I did. So I spent the whole day in the hospital. It was really a tough day. I had talks with the nurse and the doctor. I had to give a blood sample and a sperm sample. And they took a biopsy. The nurse showed me a huge box of pills with at least 70 pills in it. <laughs> all I could think was, shit, am I supposed to take all those pills each day? <laughs> My life is over. 
But then he took out four pills and said, if you take part in the study, you'll need to take these four every day for the first month, and then one a day. <laughs> what a relief. But it also hit home, because I realized I would be taking pills for the rest of my life. The HIV nurse drew a picture about the virus, the aim of the medication and the immune system. I learned so much that day. The main thing I took home is that HIV is not the end of the road. Oh yes, and to be honest, that I can still have sex and keep doing everything else in that department. When the nurse called me two months after the HIV test to tell me that my virus had become undetectable because of the medication, it was time for a celebration. I went dancing and found an online date straight away. The medical advantages of early treatment have been established now and we wondered how do doctors and patients look at this and what are for doctors and patients important elements to start or to advise treatment. So we interviewed a number of HIV treating physicians and a number of patients and mainly three things came up. In the first place, what are the direct medical benefits of early treatment? The second important point was how does it fit in my life at this moment? Does it affect my quality of life? And the third important point is, will treatment reduce the chance that I transmit infection to another person? And that can be an important element for a person who has an HIV-negative partner. The H team combines education, prevention, testing and treatment. With this combined approach involving both organizations and people from the community, Amsterdam is on its way to a future with no new HIV infections. Amsterdam the city that's going all the way to curb HIV.